yeah, being in a relationship for three years, you learn some things. There's some certain rules uh, you have to follow, especially if you're dating an Indian girl, uh, because Indian girls have a lot of restrictions, unfortunately. So it's like a. It's, I feel every Indian girl who has to lie to her parents to date a guy is like in a covert, like Russian spy mission. <laughs> She's always on the lookout. Is that my mom? Is that my dad? No. Is that my uncle? Oh shit! It's my uncle. Fuck! Oh, mustache. So what I learned from this is when her mom calls. You never disturb that call. Do not disturb the girl and her mother call. Okay? Here are certain signs to know her mom is calling. If a phone is ringing and she's like, that's not her mom. If phone's ringing like, one second. And they go into this like this like protective environment which has an invisible force field. <laughs> and like an idiot, I was like, hey, we're talking to your mom. It's like, no, go away! <laughs> you fool! You have any idea what, what will happen if she you knows? Yeah, mommy, I just I'm doing puja, yeah, that's what my friend. I'm just chilling, we're studying, actually, we're studying, yeah. Yeah, mom, yeah. So never never mess with her. Just I've seen, I've seen girlfriends turn into hulks, so it's very... Really, they punched me in the face, like it's, it's very scary. Second rule, never, this is such a stupid thing guys do, never try to make your girlfriend jealous. Just look at the scenario. Look at the scenario in this club right now. Single guys, single girls, few, few. A single girl in India, in, in India with a population of a billion, 99% of them are single guys. <laughs> you know the amount of attention she's getting? It's a privilege that she's like, okay, for this few months, you will get my full attention. <laughs> and you think, oh, this one girl hit on me, let me show off, come on. <laughs> it is the most dumbest thing you can ever do. Because also the thing is, guys, we're like very simple. We're like, we get happy for simple shit. So one girl flirts with me like, fuck, I can't wait to tell my girlfriend. Oh yeah, she's gonna value me more now. Oh, mm. <laughs> Hey, guess what happened today? She's like, what? A girl was flirting with me. <laughs> you jealous? She's like, oh, how cute. <laughs> she gave you attention? Let me, let me tell you about the guys who hit on me while I went to the bus stop five minutes back. <laughs> Page one. Don't, don't try to make you jealous, just don't. Rule number three, this is a very weird thing, but it shows your character. You have to drop your girlfriend to the auto rickshaw, okay? Makes sense post when it gets dark, makes sense. But if it's before 5 p.m., it makes no sense to me, okay? Because guys are horrible at catching auto rickshaws. <laughs> like women are awesome because guys believe in physics, women don't, okay? <laughs> They don't, like, if I've seen auto rickshaws hit motorbikes and hit guys crossing the road, I, my girlfriend says, she stops in auto. Auto! <laughs> just stops here. <laughs> just stops. The problem with guys also, we have this problem, we use logic, okay? When you try to stop an auto, we're like, hey, no, that's going in the opposite direction. <laughs> we can't stop that auto. It's mad over, huh? <laughs> he looks tired, yeah, no need. <laughs> and the worst part is, the thing about catching autos, like I hate doing this because you have to judge the auto. If it's like dark, like it's 7 p.m. or 8 p.m., 9 p.m., you have to like drop your girlfriend. It's like, you have to judge the auto driver because the first auto driver like, okay, he looks like murderer. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like rapist, no need, bye-bye. Oh, he looks, he looks very weak, malnutrition. Sir, sir, come here, sir, come here. <laughs> nothing he'll do, nothing. It's sad, you have to do that. And the, and the most uh, amazing thing guys think they do is like, hey baby, once you reach home, send me a text. <laughs> what, what good that does, I have no idea. Because in case your auto explodes, I'll get an SMS. <laughs> it makes no sense. But so much like, no, you have to send it, otherwise, oh. It's awesome.
Also, one thing is like guys don't know how to say sorry. Um, they don't. Uh, the, so, like, who's in a relationship? Give me, a, give me, a, you know, sir. How how would you say sorry to your girlfriend? I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. That's what we say. <laughs> see, that's the problem. You don't you don't just say I'm sorry. That's you know. It's well. Have you noticed? Uh, see, guys have this ego, so they don't apologize a lot. But women apologize a lot. Have you noticed? I don't know if it's good or a bad thing. But it's very clever. What they do? They have this bank where they collect a lot of stories. Okay. <laughs> But they say sorry for like stupid shit that doesn't matter. Like, oh my god, I know you asked for apple, but there's like a banana. Is that okay? I'm so sorry. And you're like, that's that's fine. I, I, I'm just slightly hungry. Oh, okay. Ding. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I'm five minutes late. Is that okay? Yeah, it's it's fine. You don't have to apologize. Oh, sure. Ding. And then you screw up. She's like, baby. Wow, so many, so many casualties. I went through this. <laughs> she had this picture. <laughs> wow, I never got such a big applause. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Okay, don't worry. It's gonna get better. So, and then, then we say, I'm sorry, and she's like, <laughs> just like that, just like that. Sorry, fix. No, what you have to do? You have to make it dramatic. You have to say sorry. But just like being like Channing Tatum types, just like bad acting, but <laughs> you screw up, go up to her, be like, uh, just talk about normal stuff. Like, yeah, today morning I took the bus. <clears throat> just pretty crowded. <laughs> yeah, the weather's been kind of, yeah, it's kind of been cold. <laughs> By the way, yesterday what happened, I just want to say that I'll never talk to you like that again. And, and stop mid-sentence and walk away. <laughs> and then stop. Hopefully if it's raining, it'll be great. <laughs> I just want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> and get your small, cute cousin, just pay 150 rupees. And make the cousin come up to your girlfriend and be like, Didi, Didi, wo kaun tha? Oh, my love. That's how we say sorry. It's a lot of effort, I know, but it works.